Hey guys, hi and welcome to the video. My name is Somil Shah. This video I'm gonna be talking about a PynamoDB. A uh, PynamoDB, what is PynamoDB? Is essentially a library or a wrapper for uh, DynamoDB. So it supports all the complex action, right? So let's just read about uh, PynamoDB a little bit and um, understand why you wanna maybe use a third-party library over Boto3, right? PynamoDB is a Pythonic interface for Amazon DynamoDB. By using simple yet powerful abstraction over DynamoDB API, PynamoDB allows you to start developing immediately. So uh, you could start developing very easily, fast, right? Uh, supports Python 3, supports Unicode, binary, JSON, number sets, UTC datetime, supports dynamic, DynamoDB local. It also supports um, essentially all the DynamoDB API, supports GSI, LSI, batch operation with automatic paginations and much more, right? It's fully tested, can support complex queries, um, you know, automatic pagina pagination with bulk operation. Um, so it's a very nice wrapper library uh, so, so, uh, uh, for DynamoDB. So if you want to get started, you can come to this website, right? Um, and essentially, you can, you know, start reading here. I usually really, really enjoy, you know, learning and watching and, 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 and reading more about all these libraries. So if I come across anything, you know, I usually love it, right? So see how easy it is, right? Here, you're essentially defining a table name called thread. You're defining all the columns, their data type, and uh, whether it's... So in, in, in DynamoDB, you have a composite and, and a partition key, right? So this is a partic partition key that you can define a sort key. All that essentially becomes very, very easy, right? You could also define the region, uh, you know, uh, how many WCUs, how many RCUs you want to use for that particular table. Uh, it's very cool, right? It suppose all this, uh, think about if you had to go to Boto3 and then find each of them, it's, it's tedious, right? This can make a life a little bit easy for you, for people who are working with DynamoDB. I would leave the links in the description. Uh, it has a lot, lot more, guys. It has transaction, optimized locking, a lot, lot more, right? I cannot go all in detail right now at this point, but what I can do is I just give you an overview. Um, maybe we can create a, a simple application, uh, maybe in the upcoming videos with serverless framework, PynamoDB, Lambdas, API Gateway, Cognito, all of that in one. And maybe, you know, it might be a nice learning experience, right? But I just want to put this library, um, I just wanted to let you know about this library. So if you guys are working with DynamoDB, uh, do check out a library called PynamoDB, okay? Uh, if you know any other libraries like uh, PynamoDB, uh, let me know in the comment section below and maybe we can discuss which one is better and what, what are the features. We could do, you know, like a rundown uh, on that, right? So thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope you have enjoyed it and I would see you guys in the upcoming next video.